Yo, what is up guys? Faze here and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day like always. And today it's all about this sucker right in front of you. The Sheridan Missile. Now, recently everyone's done a video on the new trailer that came from World of Tanks Split's official YouTube channel. And in this video slash trailer, they showed off a little mission icon that looks to be the Sheridan Missile. So everyone's contemplating if the Sheridan Missile is going to be coming out. And I do also think that it's going to be released and people are going to be able to get, the, get their hands on it. But obviously you need to know that the Sheridan Missile can only be used in game modes. So I will say if you are thinking you're going to get a Sheridan that you can use in regular games, that will never ever happen again. If you've never played the Sheridan in a regular game back in the years, I believe it was four years ago or maybe more, maybe five years ago, I can't really remember the date, but if you didn't play it in a regular game back then, you're never ever going to be able to because it really broke the game. It made the game unplayable almost because everyone was running a Sheridan missile. And one thing you must know about a Sheridan missile, it obviously has missiles. And with missiles, you could literally shoot people without even showing your tank once. People used to hide behind obstacles and just farm people out because people could use auto aim to actually make these missiles track people in the beginning when they first came out so when you first had a missile you could literally just use your auto aim and your missiles will lock onto people mid-air and hit people like aimbot and it was absolutely broken because it made everyone who wasn't running a, miss a sheridan missile absolutely obsolete because Imagine playing a E100 or any type of heavy tank that is really good at face hugging and being front line, but a Sheridan missile behind a hill that you can't even see him or even get a, a, a chance to actually shoot him because he's always hiding can just farm you out with missiles. It really ruined the game when it first came out because it was part of a regular, it was a regular tank. You could use it in regular battles and it just ruined people's days. I do believe Wargaming stripped the stats that you had on the Sheridan missile because you must remember the Sheridan Missile, I believe, came... Now, I also may be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure the Sheridan Missile came out before the actual Sheridan came out, officially. So you could get the Sheridan Missile first before the Sheridan that came officially out. And I may be wrong on that, but uh, that I'm just working off my knowledge that I know from years back. And I do believe that the Sheridan Missile came out. This was the tank that they were trying... Wargame was trying to test if it would fit in the game, and it definitely did not fit in the game. For mentions, I just know, said this tank was absolutely broken, and that is why it will never come into the game as a regular vehicle. If you go to sell this vehicle, so let's say you're getting it because you want to get some gold, I literally can only get 10 gold for selling this tank, so it's not even worth anything. So, yeah, you can't get anything for it if you sell it, so don't think you're going to get any gold from grinding this event for the tank. It's a vehicle that you can only use in game mode, so if you're not someone who likes playing game modes like myself the only game mode i really like playing is realistic battles now i must say in realistic battles the sheridan any type of sheridan you use is just going to be absolutely amazing but the sheridan missile imagine just a sheridan but a sheridan that can shoot over walls and over obstacles and you don't need to go out and show your tank once you don't even need to have good aim in this tank you just need to use the mix of now i must say that the auto aim that they that used to have on this vehicle how broken it was where the auto aim would literally lock onto people and make the missile lock on like it would in real life and like target an enemy and hit them without you even having to control anything they did nerf that so your auto aim isn't as powerful with the Sheridan missile but you can still be a very irritating opponent now i must say the camo on this vehicle looks fantastic it was the first camo to really look outstanding like it was bold and had a lot of fancy colors in which the game was getting very very popular because of these missiles and wargaming didn't want to get rid of them because it was drawing in a lot of players and it kind of made most of the player base that was dedicated to playing and was dedicated to playing really good having to switch over to playing a sheridan missile and being that very irritating player. Somewhat like how the TVP is right now, if you're playing a TVP, obviously you're just doing it to clown on people. There is no skill behind a TVP. You're just trying to be annoying and ruin people's days. And that was what the Sheridan was uh, in place of a TVP back then. Um, yeah, it's nothing crazy. I don't think you guys should be hyped about it. It's definitely not something fantastic i mean if you play game modes a lot then you do have an extra vehicle that you can play game modes in but the missiles aren't as strong as they used to be so don't think you're going to be that irritating like you used to be able to back in the day because it's not really going to give you that anymore the auto aim and the lock on mechanism of the vehicle with the missiles is a lot harder to use so most of the time i just end up playing it like a normal sheridan here in this game i'm showing you guys a lot of the missile and how i'm shooting it and how it like you can move the missile around with your camera and all that but I don't usually use it because I rather just play the Sheridan 
uh, as it is. And because I don't have the Sheridan on this account, I just use the Sheridan missile and it does the same thing. So it is the, basically the exact same tank. I must say it is a very, very fun tank. If I do play game modes, I am going to play it in the Sheridan missile since it's just very, very fun. Let me know if you guys are excited about the Sheridan Missile. Personally, I'm not too excited about it. I mean, I already have it, so what is there to be excited about it? Maybe Wargaming will actually make it worth something. So if you sell it, maybe you can get like a good amount of gold from it instead of just 10 gold uh, for the event. Because I, I believe it's going on for about 45 days, the event that they're holding for the Sheridan Missile. So yeah, it's going to be a very long event to get the Sheridan Missile. Unless it's not. I mean, like again, we don't know much about the event. Nothing much has really come up with up on it it's just a little peek at a little mission that came up in the video from world of tank splits that makes wargaming could also just be completely tricking us maybe there is no sheridan missile coming out and maybe it's just a camouflage for the regular sheridan only time will tell but uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video do you like the sheridan do you want to get the sheridan missile leave a comment down below if you did find yourself enjoying this video you can leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out and i greatly appreciate it hopefully you can hit a thousand subscribers very soon i truly believe we can reach that i do have a discord server down below if you'd like to join that server it there is a link in the description so you can join that anyways guys hope your shots hit their marks and i'll check you in the next one cheers